Well hello there and welcome back to my channel. Now today we're looking at a budget motor. But it's a budget motor from a company that you probably know really really well. And that company is T-Motor. You probably know T-Motor well because they perhaps make some of the best and certainly one of the most respected motors for FPV quads that you can find. They're not cheap, they're a premium price. But there's a reason for that premium price. They're good quality and because of that quality they have the respect and many racers and FPV pilots love to use their product. But as we said, this is a budget motor from T-Motor. This is, I think, at least half the price of their normal premium branded motors. And it's the Velox range. And there's several motor sizes and I think even some ESCs in the Velox range um, that you might want to consider, especially if you're just getting started, you're looking to make a budget bill perhaps, or maybe you just want to keep things cheap, which is fair enough. You can spend a fortune in this hobby or you can try and avoid a spend a fortune. You probably not necessarily avoid it, but you can try to. So you might want to go for this cheaper option. This is a really nice motor. I'm really impressed by the feel of it. As soon as you take out the box, you can feel that whilst it's not a, a premium motor, it's certainly of the budget motors, it is excellent. It's very, very smooth. Very nice quality. Let's have a look at the windings there. As you can see it's 2306, popular size, 2400 kV. So this is definitely a 4S motor. So for a 4S 5-inch build, I think if you're doing it on a budget, I think you can't really go wrong with this motor. So let's have a look at some of its specs. First of all, let's turn on our scales and get a weight idea, if that's a consideration for you. Put that on there. And it's coming in 32.68 grams. So not too bad weight-wise. Certainly you could probably find lighter motors out there. 2306 is a big motor. Normally we recommend using a 1500kV LiPo with 2306s. Um, but you can try 1300 if you've got a light build um, but yeah that's normally what is recommended a sort of size LiPo with this let's have a look at the length of the cable that we get you can see there it's coming in around about the 150 or 6 inch mark so nice amount of cable on there if you're not running individual ESCs or a bit of um, race wire or something like that you certainly should have enough wire there to reach to your 4-in-1 ESC. In the box you get some stickers, because of course you do, and you get a little bag of hardware where you have the uh, prop nut there, you also get some screws of two different sizes to try and get it to fit onto your arms, whether these work or not obviously depends on the thickness of your arms. And Joshua Barber has got a video on that recently where he's saying well maybe arm manufacturers, manufacturers of frames, or if you're selling an arm for a frame, maybe put in some prop screw, uh, motor screws that are the right size, but that will be down to the manufacturers. We've got two sizes, as I said, whether they fit or not is down to the size of your arms. We also have a spare little screw and a washer um, that you find on the bottom of the shaft there, as you can see, you take that off and then you can remove the bell if you've got um, rubbish or muck in there you want to get out, or if this is damaged you want to swap the bell over there. I'm not sure if you can get separate bells, but you might want to do that. I don't know, or just look at the windings and, and have a look at the motor yourself. But you get a spare one just in case when you take that one off it breaks or is damaged. So there we go, the Velux motor. Really nice quality. So perhaps you might want to consider buying it. But there's another motor that you might want to look at, which I've used in the past and I think are pretty good. About the same price from another company that has a lot of respect. There's a lot of people who use their products and that is Emax. And it's this motor here. It's the Emax Eco Motor, and this is the same size, 2306. As you can see, it's the same kV, 2400 kV. Let's have a look at the specs on this one, just because this might be an alternative. So let's have a look at the weight. I believe this one is, yes, about a gram and a half lighter. So that might be a consideration for you. But that gram and a half could be lighter because of this, as we can see. The cable length is under 5 inches or 12 centimetres, 1200 mil. So it's got slightly less cable which is probably could account certainly to a certain extent for the lighter nature of the actual motor. But the feel of it, it feels okay but it doesn't feel quite as good quality as the Velox. I've not tried, I've tried this one, I've not tried this one yet, but this one it does quite well and uh, no problems, no issues and flies really nicely. So I'm expecting this to do at least as well, if not better. So it just 
feels just in the movement of it as you can see there look at the magnets how much thicker the magnets are on the Velux and also interestingly enough look at the central screw that's holding in the bottom of the bell on the Emacs that takes a 1.5mm um, driver, X driver whereas on this one it uses the more standard certainly for 5 inch quads 2mm driver so you can see how much bigger that screw is so then you start asking questions as well they've gone for a, a chunkier screw there is that going to make it stronger the magnets are bigger does that make it better all these questions start to point towards the perhaps the Velox being more of an option that you might want to go for but the Emacs are there as well and I've had no problems flying the Emacs I've got it on one of my 5 inch builds and they fly really nicely they have all the good characteristics of a 2306 but really nice efficient good quality but I think these are probably a better bet just because they come from a company that perhaps just slightly better certainly in a lot of people's minds than Emacs but both budget, budget motors both motors that you probably put on your budget builds and have no issues with whatsoever and have some good flying with but overall I think I'd look towards the Velox personally so there we go just had a brief look at two of these motors perhaps if they're ones you're looking at interested in you might want to consider and uh, I've got a nice idea for a build for this guy but we'll get to that in the future it could be something a bit interesting so thanks so much for watching thanks so much for spending time watching my content really appreciate it take care then and happy flying bye bye